Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. Now one question we get asked a lot by new collectors and investors is what's the best silver coins to be buying? This isn't the most straightforward question to answer. It really depends on your intentions and also your budget too. But in today's video, hopefully we're going to be able to give you a little bit of a steer. Firstly then, why do people choose to invest in silver at all? With years of incredibly low interest rates, savings accounts at the banks haven't yielded as much of a return as they historically did. With the advent of other investment opportunities online into cryptocurrencies and other non-tangible assets, this is still a bit of a gamble with huge fluctuations and not to mention it isn't the simplest topic to wrap your head around. Silver, on the other hand, has been the basis of our currency for thousands of years. It is quite simply a precious metal which has value in it by weight, although it does fluctuate over time, it has generally risen. So why silver over other precious metals like gold or platinum? With the price of silver being substantially less than that of gold, more of it can be collected or stacked as an investment than if you were buying another precious metal instead. With it being cheaper, it also means that when you need to liquidate some of your stockpile, it can be done in smaller tranches, rather than trying to cash in one higher value gold coin. If you need less, then you can split out just the amount you want to turn into cash. So then, what silver coins do you want to buy? This really depends on what your motive is. If you're just looking to maximize the return over time, then ideally you want to buy silver coins as cheaply or as close to the melt value as possible, then sit on it until prices rise enough that you want to cash out. If the metal value is key over that of the quality of coin, then some pre-decimal silver coins might be a good avenue to explore. The silver coins minted before 1947 were 50% silver, and before that the pre-1920 silver coins were 0.925 or sterling silver. We stopped using silver in our coins after 1947. The coins that are a silver colour are cupra nickel, much like the coins we see in our change today, although the 5 and 10 pence coins are now nickel plated steel, given that metal prices have increased and the buying power of these lower denominations has reduced. Given that the pre-decimal coins haven't been minted as circulated coins since 1971, when the UK went decimal, there are still tons of these coins floating about in collections. Whether it is a collector keeping them or investors in the metal value of the coins, we get a ton of pre-decimal coins through our shop. We even sell best value bundles of these coins over on our website. Whether you want specific denominations or just a large quantity, we sell these by weight as part of our best value range, which is our lowest margins over that of the metal value. The opposite end of this would be modern proof coins. These are produced regularly by the Royal Mint throughout the year. Most new coin releases will come in a range of standards and metals, but a popular version to buy are the silver proofs. These are struck by the Royal Mint to the highest standard of finish and are in sterling silver. These do cost more than their metal value because they have a value as a collectible over that of just the silver in them. With this type of coin you aren't just buying them for the value of the metal but also the desirability of the coin over time appreciating. With most silver proofs there will be a limited run of them, whether it's in the hundreds, thousands or tens of thousands, some of the mintages can end up being much lower than others, especially when you start to look at the higher weights of the metal. Generally speaking, the heavier the coin, the more it costs and the less they get made, which reduces the pool available to be bought at release, but also later down the line when new collectors start buying or existing collectors are filling past gaps in their collection. A decent amount of profit can be realised. A great example of this is the 2016 Peter Rabbit 50B coin. These were produced for circulation as well as brilliant uncirculated as Cooper Nickel coins, gold proofs as well. They were also released in silver proof and could be bought from the Royal Mint at a cost of £55 and there was a limit of just 15,000 of them. They ended up being so popular and sought after that they now retail for around £450. That is quite the markup in only 7 years, but it doesn't always end up like this though. If we look at the following year's Beatrix Potter collection, they too were put into circulation and were also minted for collectors too. They were sold at a price point of £60 each, but the edition limit was doubled to 30000 
and you can now readily pick these up from eBay for 20 to 30 pounds. For a silver proof coin to really appreciate in value, it needs a perfect storm of factors. Firstly, a popular theme or design that is sought after by collectors for years to come, a low enough mintage which can make one going up for sale a rather rare occasion, and also a bit of media publicity too can go a long way to bump up the value of a coin as well. We only need to look at the Kew Gardens 50p coin to see the effect of decent media coverage. The coin is the rarest 50p currently used in circulation, but there was one 50p with a lower mintage. This was the dual dated 1992-93 European Community 50 pence coin. There were less of these minted and put out into circulation than the Kew Gardens 50p, but it and the silver proof version are much less valuable than the Kew Gardens coin. It's not in circulation anymore and therefore you shouldn't find one in your change now and that might be why it doesn't get as much media coverage as the Kew Gardens 50p, which somewhat inflates the price of this coin over this European Community Presidency version. Between circulated and proof standards we find bullion coins. These are struck to a higher quality than those which are minted for circulation, but there is a focus on the efficiency of production to keep the costs as low as possible so they can be priced nearer to the metal value. There are a whole range of bullion coins available in the market in a variety of metals, weights and themes, but the Britannia is one of the most popular. They have been minted as a bullion coin since 1997, although in gold since 1987, and over the years there have been multiple differing designs and variations. The Standing Britannia has been the most used, almost as a definitive design in recent years, with new security features and design details being added to it over the years. It's rather exciting with the Britannia at the moment, as the 2023 Bullion Britannias featuring the portrait of King Charles III are now available. Given that there were also 2023 versions of this coin with the portrait of the Queen instead. These were released in limited numbers too, and it's really exciting to have two coins with the same year, the same design, but two different monarchs on them. Not something which is going to happen all that often. Britannias do also come out in proof versions too, so rather than the often unlimited runs to fill demand, there are exclusive versions that do sell out as well. Of course there is more historic silver coins as well. These again fall into categories of selling for more than just the silver value because of the numismatic or collector's value of the coin. But if you are looking for more than just silver content and want a little bit of history, there are centuries of hammered silver coins which might take your fancy. Perhaps you want to buy up some coins of a specific monarch, royal house, time period or denomination. It is also a great opportunity to research and learn more about these historic coins too. We have a range of high quality hammered coins over on our website, but we do regularly have a range of lower quality and lower priced hammered silver coins over on our eBay shop, so be sure to check that out and nab yourself a bargain. There is of course a whole world of countries which produce and have produced silver coins that you can invest in as well. From Morgan Dollars to Canadian Maples, Australian Kangaroos to Austrian Philharmonics. These can add great variety to your stash of silver, but it is worth noting that in the UK all legal tender coins are exempt from capital gains tax. This is the tax that you pay on profits made on an item once you sell it. If your collection of silver UK coins appreciates rapidly and you were to sell them then you do not have to pay capital gains tax on these. But if they are foreign coins and they climb enough in value you may have this additional cost to pay reducing the profits you've made. It's also worth noting that silver unlike gold is not VAT free either. We pay VAT on virtually everything that we purchase, so when buying silver coins you're going to be paying this on top of the value of the silver, unlike with gold coins which became VAT free in the year 2000. There are a few other things to be aware of when you're buying silver coins though. Firstly, with anything that you're buying, you need to be sure that it's genuine. It doesn't take long to come across online listings of coins which look like silver coins but are in fact copies, replicas or forgeries. Sometimes if a price looks too good to be true, it might not be true at all. If you are buying large quantities or are new and unsure how to spot a real deal, then using trusted dealers like ourselves will save you the worry and concern. We've had some true horror stories of individuals spending large amounts of money on coins online and when they come in to sell them it transpires that they're not real, which is truly heartbreaking.
Make sure you do your research before buying too. There are plenty of coins listed on certain auction sites at astronomical prices. We dedicated a whole video to this recently. But be mindful that just because something is listed at a set price doesn't mean it's valued or it sells at that price. These listings can often feed into the mainstream news with articles about common coins selling for thousands of pounds and the same can be said of silver coins so just take that kind of information with a grain of salt. I hope this video has been helpful to those of you looking to purchase some silver coins. If you already buy silver coins then let us know in the comments some of your tips and tricks as well, it'll really help out. There are links in the description of this video over to our website if you'd like to take a look at any of the coins that we featured in the video today. Be sure as well to subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins, we're on TikTok and Twitter. We have our shop and online store and I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.